gonna live forever. I'm not stupid, Lucius. No one lives forever. No one. But with uh, advances in modern science, my high level of income, I mean, it's not crazy to think I can't live to be 245, maybe 300. Heck, I just read in the newspaper that put a pig heart in some guy from Russia. You know what? I mean, do you know what that means? No, I don't know what that means. I guess longer life. Well, no, he didn't live. Oh, he didn't live? No. But oh. It's just okay. exciting that we're trying things like that. Yeah. What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to Tactical Newbie, the channel where a newbie like me gets into all things tactical. With the funny movie introductions out of the way, <clears throat> per usual, let's get right into today's video. So today's video is going to be a tactical review of the new Falco 50 liter uh, tactical backpack that I just got my hands on through Amazon. Um, so basically what you're going to get is a full, um, basically 360 degree um, look of the backpack inside, all the compartments, um, as well as kind of stuffing it out and trying to get as much into the backpack as possible to just kind of showcase how much it can carry. Um, with that being said, then you'll also get uh, a look of how the backpack looks on me with my um, Redemption Tactical uh, plate carrier. Ironically, I did not purchase the backpack for it to pair so well with the plate carrier, but uh, all in all, I was actually pleasantly surprised on how um, how well it looks with the plate carrier, how efficiently it runs with the plate carrier, um, and all things considered, it'll probably be something down the line where I'll just kind of pair the two together for um, multi-day long skirt, uh, I guess, adventures or missions or whatever, if ever I need that to be the case. Um, but yeah, with all the uh, senseless rambling out of the way, let's get right into the video and um, I'll see you guys on the other side. Alrighty guys, and uh, here we go. This is the uh, Falco Tactical Backpack, retail price uh, $59.95. Um, it is a 50 liter backpack in a ranger green. They do have multiple colors, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, with all that being said, you'll basically get a full uh, detailed uh, 360 degree uh, look at the backpack in itself. Um, you do see that you have a front waist clips there for um, basically clipping to the waist and then a secondary clip up at the top to clip across the chest to help secure the backpack more securely to the body. Uh, the backpack does have a compartment for a water bladder or a camelback, which then you can then sip the, um, the extendable uh, sipping straw from the um, camelback or bladder out from the back and uh, slip it down the side of uh, the shoulder strap. Uh, the backpack has two lower mini pockets with molly on the front face. Um, as you can see, we're kind of navigating. The pockets themselves are a little tight, meant for ideally um, smaller items. Um, across the board, uh, nothing too, too big. Um, you know, usually some just some packed items, maybe some IFAC items or um, some um, first aid equipment. Um, nothing too big for those first uh, two bottom front pockets, but you do have the availability with the Molly to attach other things to the front face of those set pockets. Now the uh, double stack magazine pouch is an addition that I did steal from my Ranger Green Battle Belt, so it is not something that you will get with the backpack. Um, it does have front face molly on that mid tier pocket, which I just felt the need, uh, felt the necessity to go ahead and stick something on for additional magazine holding. Um, looking inside the pocket, though. Um, not really much to explain here. I mean, it is just the standard another pocket for the backpack. It does have a, a divider um, and a lot of availability for some both small and big items. Um, again, overall 50 liter bag does hold quite a bit. Uh, the top tier backpack does have what looks like some uh, Velcro face, um, which you can affix out of any type of swag or anything that you want on top of the backpack to just help to kind of give it a little bit of personality. Um, inside the top pocket looks like an interior mesh that uh, is soft for um, more delicate items. That's the red light district. Wonder why Savage is hanging out down there. Sex, Frank? Uh, no, not right now, Ed. Uh, we got work to do. Alrighty, now working our way to the side clasps as I unclasp these. Um, these clasps are traditionally just meant to just uh, kind of affix the backpack down for, um, or allow opening up for backpack for bigger items. Um, the front uh, face uh, pocket, or the bigger pocket, looks to be uh, water uh, resistant to some degree, at least that front flap. Um, interior, uh, pretty open for a lot of uh, different available items in the compartment. You have a front 
uh, mesh compartment as well to stick some of the smaller items if need be. Um, working our way over to the uh, the next compartment behind that one. Uh, this one seems to be for more uh, bulkier items, so to speak. You do have the mesh on one side and then clasps on the other, which you can kind of clasp down more puffier items that you need to kind of secure um, or hold down. Um, you know, to, to avoid any type of rattling or moving or shifting around inside the backpack. The uh, mesh sleeves, um, again, you can kind of put smaller items in there, roll them up, tuck them in behind, uh, or tuck them in. Uh, you do have the top mesh, though, does have a zipper to be able to secure some of those items down without having them have to slip out and, again, rattle around inside the uh, bigger compartment of the backpack. Um, but all things considered, a uh, pretty decent backpack across the board. Love the color of the range green. Um, now, looking down at the bottom of the um, of the backpack, I did add an additional uh, axe uh, that I did get at Reaper Axe. Uh, retail price $46.46. Overall, it's a good axe uh, just for um, you know routine stuff that you need to do to use an axe for, um, for both protection and or chopping wood or chopping certain items down. I could just kind of affix it down to the bottom of the backpack there. Keep in mind, again, these that item does not come with the backpack, so uh, it was an addition that I did throw on. Um, uh, opening up the back uh, cushion, uh, you do see there that you do have a slotted space for, like I said, a camel back if you would like to go ahead and place one down in there. Or if you want, you can also place um, some armor, some ballistic armor to help uh, reinforce the protection of the backpack in itself. Overall, I think the backpack is uh, pretty solid across the board. Um, if I had to rate it, I mean, I would give it probably like an 8.5, almost 9 out of 10. Um, again, this is just going based on my limited experience, but uh, all things considered, um, I look forward to putting it into good use. Three, two, one, cry! Three, two, one, cry! cry. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up! Just shut your mouth, Jack Lame! <laughs> Alrighty, and uh, from here, guys, you basically get a perspective of me kind of loading the uh, backpack up to its uh, full capacity. Um, so you can see me basically throwing a crap ton of clothes in here, as well as some tactical gear like my battle belt, um, some uh, magazines on the said belt, and uh, my pistol holster. Um, to just kind of give you kind of a uh, quick overview of what you can put in this bag um, if you needed like a quick bug out bag or something to just kind of load up uh, in a hurry. Um, get a bunch of central items in and uh, get the hell out of Dodge. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I kind of enjoyed the view of uh, me loading this backpack up. Uh, now, one thing you are going to notice when I try to uh, load up my SIG in this front compartment, um, it looks like this front compartment could fit a pistol. Um, I just don't think it could be a full-size pistol. It would have to be either a compact or like a subcompact or something a little bit smaller than a full-size. Um, so take that in consideration if you do plan on purchasing the backpack or if you do find it interesting that uh, that front pocket could likely hold a pistol, um, just not, uh, not a big-ass one like my SIG. Now the uh, main compartment of the backpack is actually surprisingly spacious, as you can see me putting my battle belt in there. I mean, everything's fully loaded, didn't have to pull anything off the belt whatsoever, was able to clasp everything down and secure it uh, pretty well, and then on top of it, be able to uh, throw my pistol with holster right on top. Um, so that just shows that even though the compartment looks a little bit tight, it can actually fit quite a bit of stuff or quite a bit of space. All right, and so with everything in, it pretty much has the backpack at a max capacity. Um, some of the other smaller pockets didn't really feel the need to put anything in, but of course you can put smaller items in as you see fit. The final cherry on the top is just a folded up shirt in the uh, the top pocket, just to show that you can put a little bit more in, even overstuffed. Um, but yeah, all things considered, a uh, fan of the color, the Ranger Green, it does match well with the play carrier, and yeah. What's going on? Sanders, what's going on? It's Mega Mate. She's gone from suck to blow. What? They're getting all their air back. Do something. Do something. Do something. All right, guys. I'm with the uh, full overview of the backpack uh, all done. Uh, you're kind of going to get just kind of a final fit check of how it kind of runs with my plate carrier. Obviously, both in Ranger Green, as you can tell, the color matchup is actually pretty precise. 
Um, so I think it is, both items are, at least I know for a fact, the, uh, the plate carrier is, is legitimate Ranger Green. So like there is no offset, it is no, oh, no quote unquote Army Green or any other like kind of uh, weird offset version of Green. Um, but all things considered, like I said, I was surprisingly um, impressed with how well it paired with my plate carrier. Um, almost they kind of go hand in hand uh, pretty well together. Uh, keep in mind my backpack is fairly overstuffed at this point as I'm trying to put it on but just trying to give a full display of what it looks like if I had to load this bad boy up while also wearing the plate carrier um, to be able to carry all the essential items I would need um, to get me from point A to point B safely or in order to just be out, um, out and about and uh, basically carry all the items I need. Um, the backpack is pretty bulky. Like I said, it is maxed out. Um, I could probably adjust the shoulder straps a little bit to give me, to not give some so much of that like really, really tight and like pinching look like it seems to appear to have on my shoulders. Um, but that pinching look also seems to secure the backpack pretty well to my back um, and not really account for any type of uh, wiggle room. Um, but all things considered, it is easy to get the backpack both on and off, even with the plate carrier. And like I said, all things considered, it pairs up very well with the plate carrier. How's my protege? Jeremy. Yeah. Boy, he... J-Bone. J-Bone is, believe it or not, he's getting married. What? <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, what a loser. Good. Good. More for me and you. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what you think of this week's video. Let me know what you think of the uh, Falco Tactical Backpack. Links will be in the description of today's video if you decide you want to get your hands on one yourself. Uh, they have a multitude of colors, not just the Ranger Green, which was in today's video. Um, all things considered, um, I did also start a Patreon. Um, it's uh, figured, you know, at this point, you know, I'm kind of going full bore into the uh, YouTube space. So by all means, if you want to be a part of the uh, Tactical Newbie community, uh, feel free to jump on to Patreon and take a look. Um, haven't really added any type of extra content thus far. Still kind of learning the curves of Patreon. But if you want to support the channel, you want to support me, you want to support future endeavors, by all means, hop. By all means, hop on, and uh, let's uh, work on this together and uh, keep things going for the uh, tactical newbie community. Um, but yeah, with all that being said and done, I'll see you guys next week.